Good to get back out here and get work done and uh, see how these guys have progressed through the winter and uh, see the new guys that we've added, uh, including coaches. So it's just a good start, and uh, I think it'll be a productive spring for us. The attitude was fantastic. The work ethic was good. It was uh, organized and upbeat, so encouraging start. Who are some guys physically that you haven't maybe seen in a while that look a little different to you out here? Well, I see them all almost every day, but not in this environment. Um, just offhand, I thought Boss Tagaloa looks physical, and uh, thought uh, uh, Michael Alves looks really good. And it's hard to single guys out. I mean, they all look good. They've really worked hard this winter. They've had a tremendous winter program with Coach Alosi and his staff. They've all done a great job uh, in the weight room. You know their running program so it just looks like a good a good group right now I mean, they're upbeat and ready to roll. How did Josh look? He did not look like you know there was anything bothering him he looked fine um, he's done a really good job since uh, you know he started his his rehab of being consistent and uh, doing what you know the protocol calls for and I think he's right on schedule so I didn't notice him favoring anything or wincing or doing anything he just Look, look normal. It was good to see. No restrictions. On no restrictions. No. Uh, what was it like to have uh, Mike back out here with you guys? It was good, but he's been with us all winter, so um, you know, it, it's it's just kind of normal. And he's like I said, he's been participating since the winter program, so it hasn't been. It's not like weird to see him because we see him every day. Mm -hmm. You know, right after Josh had that surgery, you kind of talked about how. He seemed to be kind of chomping at the bit to kind of get it right at it. And how, how has he seemed to kind of mentally have responded, you know, to, to everything that's happened the last several months? Well, he seems great. You know, I mean, he's had to focus on his rehab and focus on learning a new offense. And, and uh, I think he's done both very, very well. He just seems in a really good spot right now. So it's important we just keep him there and that, uh, keep him learning and progressing. What's been the adjustment now having a new offensive coordinator and new guys over on that side of the staff? Well, it's it's uh, exciting, you know, uh, just new ideas and uh, new people and, and uh, kind of a new philosophy. And I think it's what we want. I feel good about it. Um, you know, I've known these guys for a long time. I really haven't coached on the field with them. I've watched them uh, or competed against them. and. They just do a really good job. They're very organized and detailed, and they have a great energy about them. And the players are responding well to them. They have all winter, and today was just a reflection of that offensively. I thought they, you know, it didn't look like it was day one. It didn't look like it was the first time our guys had done this stuff. So I think it's, uh, I think it's a, a positive right now. New philosophy. What's, what's new philosophy? Well, anytime you change coordinators, your your course deviates a little bit in terms of what you're doing. So just, you know, a different verbiage, different concepts, different way of teaching. What's wrong with Kowasi? What's wrong with him? Yeah. He, he, uh, he had hip surgery in January. He's going to be able to help you fall? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Cameron Griffin? He's not with the program anymore. Medical retirement, head injuries. He's got way too much to offer this world to continue to you know absorb what he's absorbed. So just excited that he kind of but for him that he made that decision, I know it's a tough transition, but so. How do you think Coach Fish's uh, system maximized what, what this team has in terms of personnel? Uh, he's like, you know, most guys that work in the NFL, they know how to match concepts to personnel. And that's what you do in the NFL. That's why they don't call it anything in the NFL except for an offense, because it's ever evolving. You know, it evolves to the personnel that you have, and I think he's very good at that. Does that make spring pretty important for him to be able to evaluate those guys and kind of decide which direction? Yeah, I mean, play? spring's always important. I mean, it's 15 practices you get with your guys in the meeting time, and you're installing an offense and a philosophy. And, and uh, uh, so not only are you evaluating, but you're teaching and they're learning. So uh, it's a very important time for us. Will it evolve greatly after he has a chance to see those guys out of the field? Or? No, I mean, he's watched film. He's seen them. It'll evolve a little bit. I'm not. You would never expect wholesale. Just blow it up and start over. Um, you know, he Jet's very experienced, as we all know, and you know he's looked at a lot of film and he's evaluated a lot of players and coached a lot of players. And 
he knows what he's doing. So he can look at a guy on film and say, okay, this is what I think he's capable of. Certainly when you see him, you know, in the flesh, on the field, doing some of the things you're asking, you might adjust a little bit. I know uh, the offensive line, there's a couple of position changes they've moved around. Was that a lot of Coach Fraley? Was that a, a group effort on the coaching staff? We are always trying to put, you know, players in the best position to succeed. And um, you're also trying to put, you know, the five players together that are going to work together the best and give you the best chance to have success. And so at this point, after, you know, the winner and one practice, those were the five that we put in those positions. That doesn't mean there won't be some shuffling of the deck as we go. There probably will be. But what we'd like to do is have some consistency up front uh, because I think when you have consistency on the, consistency on the offensive line, it's, it's certainly going to help you. The diamond moving wide receiver, how did that conversation go down? And, said, and is it a permanent move? Mm -hmm. It's a permanent move. Um, once again, it you know it gives him the best chance to contribute and, and help this team win. Um, we recruited him with the thought that you know he'd be a quarterback initially, and if it looked like the path was cleaner in a different position, then you know he'd be flexible to that move. And it just looks like his path to getting on the field and helping this team is is probably a little bit more clear at receiver. Um, and he was willing and ready, and he's got a great attitude about it. And, and I thought he looked fine for not having, you know, played that position for a year. He, at times last year in scout team, he'd, he'd go out there and play a receiver some. So it hadn't been completely foreign to him, but really in a competitive situation, today was the first day. Got any idea what that's looking like at uh, quarterback behind Josh? Well, it would be great competition between, um, you know, those three young men that are here. You know, Austin Burton just joined us today, um, or actually moved in Sunday. So um, be between Devon and Matt and him, um, pretty confident that you know one or two, or hopefully all three, emerge as guys that we can count on. I saw Moses and Morell out here. Are, are they not early enrolling? Or no, no. Be the they'll be here in the fall. Well, they'll be here in the summer. Yeah, yeah. I think I, uh, Brandon Stevens is listed as a receiver. We moved from running back to receiver. Brandon yeah. Stevens. Oh, okay. I, I don't. I have never. I haven't looked at a roster since I got here, so I don't. I don't know who does that. Yeah.